Gonna make a quick video today on <clears throat> scanning to email, specifically Microsoft, using uh, OAuth 2 authentication, which this video is being made in August of 2024, so it's brand new. But you're gonna browse to the website of the copier, so you need to get its IP address. If you don't know it, any modern copier, you can hit the counter button and the IP should be in the top of the screen. You need to log in as administrator and then the password if you do not if it's not the default you may need to contact your copier company and ask what the password is so no no then we're going to go to setting registration there's two pieces to do this there's still you got to enter some settings under the send email network settings and as of today this is what microsoft wants which is smtp-mail.outlook.com. The email address that you are going to basically OAuth authenticate to. So that is your sending email address. And you need 587 and you need uh, to allow TLS. So these are all standard Microsoft settings. But the key is this email address underneath the SMTP server is the sending email address. <clears throat> So now we're going to go to my Microsoft Auth. We're going to hit Edit. We're going to turn it on. And per, if you can search a manual, but it, it'll tell you in this manual, this is what you need to enter into this field. And for me, since I am using an organization, a paid account, I need to enter organizations where this tenant name is. So you'll see this right here. So you have choices, common, consumers, I have actually tested. That is the free version. So if you're, you know, john at outlook.com, the free version, you're going to type the word consumers in this, this field right here. I'm doing a paid account, so I'm using the word organizations. So you just fill this out, however, what's appropriate. Hit OK. Now what we're looking for is we're going to refresh this and we need this code. So what it says is you have 900 seconds to click this link, enter that code to actually to activate this setting you're trying to do, the OAuth. So what it's doing now, it's redirecting me to Microsoft. Who do you, you need to authenticate? So I have to authenticate as the user that I'm sending the email from. In this case, it's my IT. And it says, hey, you're trying to set up scan to email with OAuth. Yes, I am. So I'm going to hit continue. And basically, you'll follow your authentication stuff, and you'll get to this where it says you can now close this window. So what we're going to do now is you're going to hit the refresh button. And what we're looking for is this to go to active. Active. That's what we want. So now we should be able to flip over to go, go over to your copier. I'm going to do it remotely. So log into your copier. Say, hey, I want to scan to this person, whatever settings you need to do to test. Hit go. Hit OK. It's only asking me these questions because I'm using the glass. I'm not standing in front of the copier. So I'm going to tell it to start. We'll come over to what we're looking for in here are little dots under job log. So 814, 815, so that's my job. Dot dot on another screen. I can't show you, but I, I did get the email. So that is it. That's how you set up scan to Microsoft using OAuth authentication. Thank you.